Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you some decorating tips and hacks using products from department stores. So I know personally I can't afford to buy everything from high-end stores or from little local owned businesses. As much as I would love to support all the local businesses around and buy their amazing products, I do know that they do come at a hefty price tag a lot of the time. So today I thought I would share with you some of the products that I personally buy from department stores to make my house look amazing and high-end. To be honest, I am really ready to redecorate, but obviously as some of you guys know, I'm, I'm looking at starting out my own business, so I have been putting that off. But if I was to go out and purchase everything new again, then this is sort of how I would shop. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bells so you don't miss another video. And I was actually also thinking that I might follow this video up with my favorite products and picks off each department store next week. So the department stores I'm looking at is like Kmart, Target, Ikea, and big W. So if that's what you're interested in, then definitely come and check me out next week for another video and let's jump into it. So the first tip I have for you is to use neutral colors. Neutral colors are going to go with any home that you buy and are going to last you a lifetime. They are basically timeless because you can mix and match these with things all the time. So definitely pick out the products that you absolutely love that are in a neutral color palette so that you can easily mix and match. Now, if you do have like a very white house, I would definitely recommend mixing it with a few like bits of wood tones because that is really going to warm up your house. So the products I'll be looking at buying would be marbles, brass, woods, and even your matte blacks, anything that, like I said, that is in that neutral color. And the next tip I have for you is not to buy those brightly colored pieces. Yes, I know I did just say buy all neutrals. So the reason why I don't buy brightly colored pieces is because a lot of these decor items that are in department stores are actually like knockoffs of really expensive designer stuff. And if you have this brightly colored piece and they haven't quite pulled it off, it just looks cheap. Like it doesn't look like a statement piece. It just looks cheap. And then when people walk into your home or when you look at that space, there's always going to be like this little eyesore in the corner, unfortunately. So I definitely steer clear of the bright colored pieces. The other thing that I would not buy from department stores is their artwork. That is because it is mass produced. So, you know, you might have it in your home, then your neighbor's got it in your home and the other neighbor's got it in your home. So you want something that is really unique and it speaks to you and art, for me, in my opinion, is one of those things that you have to absolutely love and it has to sort of speak to you when you put it on your wall because it takes up like this giant big space. So you have to really love what's there. So having something from a department store that is mass produced, it's something that is going to be in so many other homes. And so some of the things that I do love to purchase from department stores are their mirrors. And that is because honestly, I can't tell the difference between the mirrors in a high-end store and the mirrors that are from Kmart, for instance. Those matte black round mirrors, I've seen them so expensive in like designer shops. And then you come to Kmart and you can purchase one. I think they're like $29. You can't go wrong. And mirrors are one of those things that you can put in any room. They reflect light and they make the place look so much bigger. And it really does give that high-end look. So mirrors are definitely a must. And the other thing that I do like to purchase from the department stores are their picture frames. Now, I am a little bit picky. Again, I do like to stick to the neutral tones. So brass, natural, white, matte black are pretty much what I like to stick to. And I really like the ones with the matting. I think that that makes it look so much more luxurious and like high end. Now, some of the things to keep in mind when purchasing products from Kmart, Target, Ikea is to be really picky on the fabric that you're picking. Make sure that you're picking a fabric that is soft and not all stiff and that it doesn't stretch or stain. These things are going to instantly make your home look tacky. So have a feel of the texture of the fabric, really 
have a look at how it's woven and the quality of it before purchasing it and that is going to save you so much more money in the end. And the other thing is not to go crazy on patterns. So yes, you do want to have a few patterns in your house because you do want to create that interest. But if you have too many patterns, it is really overwhelming to the eye and your eye really doesn't know where to look. So it's like visual clutter in the end. So just be mindful of the amount of patterns that you are putting into your home and where they're going. And of course, I'm not going to do a video without saying hack things. Yes, you know, I have two videos on all my Kmart hacks. If you haven't seen them, you should go and check them out. I'm a big fan of hacking things. So some of my hacks are in my daughter's room. I did do a hack on one of the $10 Ikea stools and I just basically painted that and transformed that into a little bedside table for her and literally $10 that was it. I also did the same thing with the $4 spice racks which were from Ikea and I've just painted those and then I've actually turned it up the opposite way to use it for like her pretty outfits and stuff like that. It's a great way to display costumes as well. I really love hacking things because it does add your personal touch and your personality to things. The other thing that I've seen that looks really good is to add lighting. So I have seen some of these Ikea cabinets and people have put lights in them and they look really amazing. So definitely look at adding lighting to your cabinets. You can get some really cheap ones from Kmart which are easy to install yourself which will help bring spaces to life. Now, one of the other items I don't tend to buy from department stores are their furniture. Now, as I said before, you can hack these items and personalize them, but the reason why I don't purchase them is because of the quality is just not great. Now, I do have this cube unit, which I did purchase from Target many years ago, and it's actually starting to peel. And that is a reason why I don't like purchasing them from places like this. Now, when purchasing things, have a look at the textures as well. So you wanna mix up the textures, say on your couch cushions or on your throw rugs, and make sure that they are of different textures. That way you're creating more of a visual interest and it just makes your home feel that much more cozier. Now this can also be done through home decor objects. Like I know a lot of them have like very rough objects at the moment. It's a big thing. And even your woven baskets as well. Rugs, rugs are a great way to incorporate texture in a home as well because you can get like real fluffy ones or real rough ones. So you can get lots of different textures to create a balance and interest in your home. So keep that in mind when you are purchasing your products. And another way to add that texture in a home is through greenery. So Ikea have this massive selection of fake and real plants if you're not a real plant person. I personally do like to spend a bit more money on the fake plants, I won't lie. I don't often go to cheaper places to buy fake plants because I do often find out that they look fake. And when they look fake, they look tacky. But if you can find something that looks very real, then definitely get that. Otherwise, they've got a massive selection of real plants at Big W and also at Ikea as well. The other items that I would recommend to decorate with would be books. And the reason why is because you can actually stack books and make like your home decor items that you've currently got a little bit higher. So it gives it that height without having to go out and purchase a whole new decor product to fit that area because like big decor items can be quite pricey. So that is a little hack that I have for you would be just to purchase a couple of books to give it that extra height. Now, if you're not a fan of having books, random books in your house that you're personally not going to read, then I would be looking at printing off some photo books. So you can get some photo books that have like a white spine with the black writing. So they're quite minimalistic and will go with any home decor. And the best thing is you can actually pull that out and really enjoy that item because it's full of your memories. And the very last tip I have for you is don't buy from the one shop. 
You don't want your house to look like one of their catalogs. You don't want it to look like an Ikea catalog or a, t or a Kmart catalog. Yes, you might really love the items that are from there, but is that your personality? I personally like to purchase some products from uh, bits and pieces from all these different places and definitely do not rush doing it because you are going to regret it if you're buying products you know that just suit this color scheme but you actually don't like the product itself you will end up regretting buying those products trust me i have done it and i've done it for so many years and that is why i own so minimal products because i've went and decluttered so much of my home and just kept the items that i loved so that is my advice for you definitely just shop around and even go to the discount stores you'll be surprised at what you can pick up one of my favorite places to go to is marketplace to to get things and to op shops as well because when you have like lots of new stuff in your home, it's you don't want it to look like a showroom as well. You want it to look like it's lived in. So I hope you've all enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, I'd love you to stick around, subscribe and turn on the notification bells. And I'll catch up with you next week for, for a new video. I'll see you then. Bye.